Hello, this is Aubrey Birch with Easy School Marketing. I'm excited you're here with me today. We're gonna to talk about what tools should I use to serve my family? A frequently asked question, I should say. Now, why talk about surveys? Right about now, you're probably thinking about end of year surveys, graduate surveys, maybe you're surveying uh, people in your missions process. Lots of surveys go out around this time of year. So. Things to think about, like what tools you're using, this frequently asked question, and you're probably looking for me to say, you need to use this one tool. And I'm gonna say, I'm sorry, that's not the answer. The answer is what does your community and your resources dictate? Let's take, for example, if you're only sending one survey a year, like a parent satisfaction survey a year, you don't need to invest in a very expensive survey tool. Right? You just don't. It's probably a waste of your money and you probably have limited resources, right? But if you're doing like all five surveys a year and then you're having departments do surveys and stuff like that, then you might want to invest in a better survey tool, right? So that is what I'm talking about with your resources. Like you have to look at your resources. Like how many surveys are you sending and is it worth it to invest in a survey tool? And then the next thing is to think about does this survey tool match the skill set of our staff, right? So you could be fine with this simple survey tool that might be free. Maybe it doesn't do as much as your more fancy you know, tools, but if your staff can easily use the free tool, then maybe that's the tool you need, right? Because if you try to introduce a more technically advanced tool and you're not even using half of its options and you're paying for it, then it really isn't the right fit for your staff and their tech training, right? So now you might be saying, Aubrey, just give me some tools. Tell me what tools you're saying. So here's, I'll just say, let's take the top two that always get, you know, I always get asked about, and that's Google forms, right? Not exactly a survey tool, but it can be a survey tool, right? And then there's like SurveyMonkey or other paid tools, right? I am not going to say there's one is better than the other. They have pros and cons, right? So Google Forms is a great option because it's free, right? It allows you to export the data into a spreadsheet. You can do a lot of cool things with Google Forms, right? And it's free. And if you're already using Google as a part of what you and your staff are doing, it's probably easy for them to use, right? Now, I'm going to say I personally prefer like the data that exports better from like tools like SurveyMonkey, but if you're a school that's sending maybe one or two surveys a year, maybe Google Forms is the right option for you, right? SurveyMonkey is another great tool. There are pros and cons there. It can be as complex and easy as you make it, but I do like how you can export a lot of data and it gives you a lot more options for creating your surveys. So those are just two tools, but there are millions out there. If you have ever heard me talk about AppSumo, it's A-P-P-S-U-M-O, it's this website where they will introduce new companies and stuff selling different software or new software launches, and you can get some great tools for dirt cheap and lifetime, lifetime access to them. So I've seen many survey tools pop up there as well. So there are many options. So just when you're looking at which tools to use to survey your families, those are the questions I want you to ask. What are my resources? Like how many times am I surveying? Do I have this resources to support a paid tool? And does my staff have the inclination to learn a new tool or should I go with the easy one just to make sure that we're actually getting things done? I hope you found this helpful. I'd love to hear what survey tool are you using? I'd love to know. You can email me at aubrey at easyschoolmarketing.com. Thank you.